I hate needle sticks. I hate seeing people get needle sticks. I've even had them myself. So today I'm gonna to give you a tip that you can use and share with your trainees to help you to decrease needle sticks during your central line procedures. One of you sent me this. Thank you, Jay Monty. I have no idea what's inside. Why don't we take a look? Oh, more stickers. Arrgh. Just use the scissors. Huh. I love it, Jay Monty. A man or woman after my own heart. A big shout out to spocus.org. Thank you. I'm gonna drink some coffee tomorrow. I mean, right now there's packing peanuts in there, but tomorrow there'll be coffee in this mug. Thank you, Jay Monty. Thank you very much. By the way, gifts are not necessary but they're greatly appreciated. Now, unfortunately, I have seen plenty of needle stick injuries in my career thus far. Some of them have been mine, and they're usually careless errors. Some of the needle sticks that happen are during central line placement, and that's because of inexperience with handling the needle, or someone is nervous during the procedure, and they just get their finger poked with that solid needle while they're suturing in the central line. So today's trick might help you to get through that. And what I find is that when trainees are plunging that needle through the skin, they just go and try to grab the proximal end of that needle. It's sharp, it's meant for cutting, and this is where you can really poke yourself. What you're going to do is you're going to take the wrapper that that needle came through, whether it's the hard cardboard paper or the plastic, and you're gonna use that to guide that needle tip out from under the skin until you get the needle about three quarters through. This way, you can grab onto the needle from the middle of that needle rather than the tip where you're at a higher risk for poking yourself and basically ruining your entire day. Now this technique will not eliminate the risk of needle sticks. Nothing really will, so you still have to be careful. But watch this video very carefully and practice it before you get into the sterile field so you'll have this procedure perfected. Of course, ultimately what decreases needle sticks is practice and an awareness of your field and never doing a procedure when you're tired or you cannot focus because I find that that's when these things happen. So that's your crit tips for you today. And if you like this video, why don't you click the like button? And if you really enjoyed it, why don't you smash that subscribe bell so you never miss another video from me again. And if you have any comments on this tip or have any other tips of your own, why don't you comment down below? I would love to hear from you folks and hear what you're doing in your practice and maybe teach me a thing or two. I can't wait to tomorrow morning take a sip from this sweet mug. Mmm, there's actually nothing in there now, but that's my face the wrong morning. Mmm, see you next time.